the yellow, right there, yep. I know, it's harder than you think, huh? All right, okay. yay! Thank you. channel oh let me just adjust the lighting a little bit there you go that's a little bit better okay so this video as you can see from the title is just a little update on what's been going on since the last time i made a video so i just gave birth to a baby girl named athena she's actually behind me right now because i'm i'm like trying to have a low voice so i don't wake her up since and that's the explanation why I am not six. Okay, so anyway, so I was supposed to be due on January twenty fifth, but the recent event, um, my water broke. I think uh Sunday night. The uh, what Sunday night? January twenty. But uh, she came out January twenty two. So I was a long, long labor. Okay, so. <clears throat> so Sunday night, um, this is a little bit really page if you guys don't want to like hear the story, you can just skip from <laughs> this video. Anyway, so Sunday night, um, this um I had my what they called um, mucus plug. That's where um, um, that's that's part of the I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So it came out already, and then when it came out. Um, my it, my water broke, but it's not like you know how you feel like on movie or or video like where you feel or like on your pants or your legs. No, uh, on my situation, when my water came out, um, which I didn't even know that it was already my water broke. Um, <clears throat> it was more like a constant um me going to the bathroom, constantly peeing, like every two, three, five minutes. Every minute, I like I have to go to bathroom pee and pee, and um, on that point, from my, what my doctor said, so that was already the sign that my water broke. Well, my water broke, and so I did not know. And then by the time the, uh, on on that day Sunday, so it was like around four a.m. So I was feeling like um cramp, and then backache, on like um on my body, which I kind of ignore a little bit because. I thought at first I was like, oh, it's nothing, but then like from nine, nine until noon time, I still feel it. So my husband told me, oh, just call the L L and D and like tell them the experience and stuff, and then from that, from that on, day on, um, I told them that oh my mucus plug. So I called and I told them that my mucus plug. Um, already came out, but at the time I didn't know that <clears throat> that also my water broke. So I only told them that oh my mucus plug came out already, and then I wanted to know if it's um is it normal that um that I'm having discharge of mucus which has like bleeding on it, and then from what they told me, it was fine. That's normal. That it's usually like that and stuff. So. They just told me just to stay at home so nothing to worry about so which i did and then during the afternoon i believe yeah i called again saying that i'm still feeling the cramp the pain and all that stuff and then they told me that they told me that i might be in an early labor already stage um that just to stay at home to monitor everything and yes, I did. I guess I once again I just like stayed at home and just monitor everything. Cause at that time, like I mean, like the pain I could manage and everything, but I was just worried about the baby, like if it's okay and everything. So anyway, so at that time, like me and my husband, we went, we even went to like the mall, Target. Um, we even had our car fixed just to like walk around and stuff. And then by the dinner time we went to my aunt's house and then I was still I was telling my aunt all the stuff that I was feeling and then that um I was still having discharge and this time it's like 
like it's constant discharge and then I keep like changing pads and everything and like it's always um still has like discharge and like uh, this time like still has bleeding on and everything and then my aunt was worried so um my after dinner my aunt took uh me and my aunt my mom my hus my husband we went to the hospital to get checked just to get checked if like me and the baby are okay and by the time we got checked in <clears throat> and they checked me out and that's when we found we found out that uh my water broke already for more than how many oh no this is the next day i mean sorry about that so after that sunday and then monday that's when me and my husband went to the mall we went target we went to my aunt's house and all this car stuff so yeah by monday we went to the hospital and by that time they told me um my water broke more than 14 hours ago already or is it 17 14 or 17 hours ago on that range i can't remember so yeah so when they checked they checked me they told me i can go home anymore since my water broke that they just want to make sure that the baby's okay since um since my water broke more than 14 14 or 17 hours ago um, they were just afraid that maybe they just don't want uh, no they don't just blah, 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 blah. they just don't want the baby and I to have any infections since the water broke already so I got checked in and then um, so I was expected to have a labor on uh, labor and then oh my gosh I was on labor for like thirty two hours thirty two hours. So um, I got an epidural. I got um, what what's the other one that I got? Um, I forgot the other one. But anyway, so so I asked for the epidural and the epidural uh, the epidural um, it was really uh, my body was constantly fighting it because I've been throwing up. I felt dizzy. Um, my whole body felt hot and numb. So. I don't know and then so yeah so I tried pushing for 32 hours to have a natural birth and then I can't so my husband and I we decided to do an, an alternative way to have my baby comes out in a safe in a safe a safe way you know and then they gave me an option it's either the vacuum or they'll try to help me like push it out more which we tried doing pushing it out more and everything but it's not working because since i guess since um what they told me is since the water broke now it's like it's harder for me to push because everything there is like there's nowhere like the water is not there it's harder for me to push maybe it's i don't know dry or, or i don't know i don't know the medical term of it but yeah <clears throat> and then so me and my son or i decided and i told my husband that I don't want doing a vacuum because I've heard so many things about it and then I'll just rather have me being cut than my baby getting hurt. So I told my husband I'll just do a C-section instead of having my baby vacuum out of me. So that's what happened and then and then another story of the, um, the time when I was on the operating room already, um, we had another problem because when they cut me off like um uh, bikini line they did a bikini, bikini line on me so when they did a cut cut on me um there's another artery on my um what you call it on the stomach or whatever you call it so um it wouldn't stop bleeding so now they had to do a blood transfusion on me so athena came out from me around 7 30 or 7 49 around there and then after she came out, they cleaned her up, took her back to the room. But me, I think I stayed longer at the operating room since I remember I, or my husband told me, I came back to the room around twelve thirty or around twelve something. Since I take longer, since they had any, they, we had a, uh, they had a complication on doing the operating. So, yeah, and then, yeah, that's a little bit update. And then, we stayed in the hospital around four. Four days, I think, just because I had a C-section, they wanted to monitor me more, and then now we're home. And yeah, so just 
that's just a little update. So I haven't had this leave for a while now. <laughs> but being a mom is fun, I guess. For now. From experts. Oh, as you can hear, she's waking up. So yeah, I'll just update you guys some more later on on throughout more videos. So y'all. So that's just a little update on what's been happening. So thanks, guys. Bye.